Stage 9 between Antofagasta and Iquique has in store the most spectacular finish in the South American Dakar. A three kilometre long downhill road towards the Pacific Ocean with an incline of 32%. But before that, the drivers have over 500 kilometres of dusty roads to deal with. A trip to the seaside doesn't come cheap. As usual, first ones in action are the motorbikes. Yesterday, Mark Comer made the most of Cyril Depre's misfortunes to reclaim top spot in the overall standings, one minute and 26 seconds ahead of his KTM teammate. But a wounded Depre is a dangerous one, and after a third of the stage, he's the fastest man around. The Frenchman is 37 seconds ahead of Joan Barre de Bort and a minute and 12 seconds ahead of Comer. At the end of the first timed zone, Depre is still well ahead, and Comer even trails three minutes and 30 seconds behind. And at that moment, the Frenchman is back in the overall lead in this Dakar. Meanwhile, Joanne Bereda Bort remains in the top three, just under five minutes adrift of the KTM riders. At that point, 120 kilometers are still to go before the infamous dive down towards Iquique. And the final section of the stage sees Depre capitalize on his excellent driving, as the Frenchman increases his lead on Marcoma as he finally reaches Iquique with yet another win under his belt. Depre is now back in the lead in the overall standings, 2 minutes and 28 seconds ahead of his Spanish counterpart. So what a day for the Frenchman, a stage win, back on top in this Dakar. Yesterday's abysmal stage seems long forgotten. In the car category, the bout continues at the top of the standings between the Minis and the Hummers. After one third of the stage, the Americans have the upper hand, with Robbie Gordon and Nasser al dominating the Minis on the road. At that point, Gordon is ahead, with Al Atiyah in second place. Behind them, four minis lead the chase. Christoph Lovchik, Stefan Petrancel, Leal Dos Santos and Nani Roma. Since the start of this 2012 Dakar, Nasser Al Atiyah has been in trouble with his Hummer. Several times in the last few days, the Qatari has been forced to stop due to mechanical failures, but always managed to get going again. Not today, however. Betrayed by a broken alternator belt, Al Atiya is forced to retire and bids farewell to this year's Dakar after only 174 kilometers. Fortunately, all is not lost for the Hummers. Robbie Gordon retains the lead as he cruises past checkpoint number eight ahead of the pack, with the Minis still leading the chase. But the American isn't impressed and increases the gap with Peter Hansel to finally clinch the stage win for Hummer. He completes the stage in 6 hours, 25 minutes and 21 seconds, while Petr Hansel arrives in Iquique a minute and 38 seconds later. In the overall standings, the Frenchman retains the lead, with Gordon still in second place.